Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to the Wednesday message week 29. All right, guys, I am uh, back here in my dining room. As you can see, the fridge. It is no longer with the magnets from all over the world, all right? Uh, my son kept destroying it. So now it's A, B, C, D. I think it's now G, H, I. Goat, hat, and igloo. That's what I have to memorize every single freaking day, guys. I am super excited, all right? Vcon, 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 Vcon. Tickets are going like that. I don't know what you guys are going to do. I warned you. Get your tickets fast. First come, first serve. All right, if you need, if you're thinking about it, if you're planning about it, then most probably you're not going to make it to VCon. So please call your upline, call anyone, call your mother-in-law, call everyone and make sure you get your remaining last few tickets to VCon. All right, October 7 to October 11 is going to be the greatest event. I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to hear the roaring applause when Japadas, Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay goes up on stage on the first night. All right, I just can't wait to come up there in the morning of day two and help you find your dream. It's a bit emotional for me because VCon is the greatest event in network marketing history. And it's not only creating excitement in QNet and the V, I've got, you know, associates, uh, acquaintances of mine from all over the world messaging me and saying, is VCon happening? Is VCon happening? Our bankers, our well-wishers, our agents, our partners all around the world is going crazy about this coming VCon, the greatest event in network marketing history, VCon. So make sure you are there. Now this Wednesday, interestingly, I've been talking to a lot of people over the weekend. It's been crazy, all right? It's been spending every day speaking to the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran, all right? Which means either he thinks I need more hammering, all right? Or I've been a great, superb student seeking more for my upline and mentor. I think I need more hammering. Okay, guys. But one of the key messages I took back uh, speaking to Dato Sri this weekend, and I want to share it with you. For those of you all who don't know, I make a lot of videos. I have my own YouTube channel. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right. Uh, one of the videos I made was seven days a week. I don't remember exactly what I said in it, but it was a video I made a long time ago. I mean, a long time ago. And I remember that video and today Dato Sri was reminding me about the same topic. And he spoke about a topic which I think is so important, all right, in our journey to financial freedom called the sense of urgency. And this is something very interesting. Now, I know this, the, the, the statement or the sentence makes sense, all right, sense of urgency. Any moron on the planet can understand it. But there is a greater significance to it, especially to us as networkers building our QNET business, all right, aiming for financial freedom, bigger checks, and ultimately a max out one tracking center, two tracking centers, three tracking centers, okay? And when I made that video seven days a week, it came from a personal experience, right? Because I used to go to Datu Sri Vijay and sit down and he would give me crystal clear targets, goals that I'm supposed to do and achieve and all that stuff, all right? As a great upline he is. And I would take my own sweet time, all right? And one day, he sat down with me and he reminded me, all right? And hammered me big time for being arrogant. And he started his statement to me by saying, Patman, why are you so arrogant? Now, I was sitting there like a little humble student listening to him and I was confused. Maybe Sati complained or somebody complained. I hammered them or I was angry or something. And I said, I'm sorry, where, you know, and, uh, you know where, 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 where did I show my arrogance? He said, you're showing it every day. And I asked him, what did he mean? And at that time, it was a tremendous wake-up call. 
and I was lucky to get it at a young age for my upline. He said, your arrogance, partner, is that you think you're going to wake up tomorrow morning. Your arrogance is you think you're going to live until you are 90, a 95. Your arrogance thing makes you think that you can postpone everything you're supposed to do today to tomorrow because you think tomorrow is guaranteed. And then he asked me a question. I said, yes, what's the question? He said, can you guarantee me that you're going to meet me for lunch tomorrow? And I said, yes, where? Wherever, and I'll be there. Right? Thinking that I'm making a statement of humility to my upline, saying I'm willing to cancel anything to be there for lunch to meet him. And he said, that's where your arrogance is. Because how can you guarantee me that you're going to meet me for lunch? Where is that arrogance coming from? And I realized at that point, at 24 years old, that it's true. And I'm not here to, to hammer you and, and, and tell you what you're doing wrong. I thought the same way you did. That I am going to live for 60 more years at that time. You understand? And I'm sure all of you have plans tomorrow. I'm not asking you to cancel your plans. But I'm telling you to recognize the fact that I practice as much as I can every day. Not every day. Let me be honest. Some days... I actually guarantee myself that I'm going to be up tomorrow. But the reality is, in the last 24 years, I've lost a lot of people who I love dearly. And I was convinced they were going to be around for 20 more years. They were convinced they were going to be around for 20 more years. We made plans where to go next year, where to go next month. We made plans for tomorrow. Many of these people didn't wake up the next morning. They either died in the hospital or they died in their sleep. And that's when I realized that what Datu Sri told me at 24 years old was one of the most valuable lessons that I carry with me today. That there's no guarantee that there's going to be a tomorrow. Because a single blade of grass will not move without his will. Right? In whatever form you believe that he exists. So the point is that we may have today as our last day. We may have this week as our last week. So what are you doing about it? Where is your real sense of urgency? That you procrastinate every single time. Presentation, okay, I'll start next week. Weekly, present, daily presentations. Okay, I'm supposed to meet my upline. I'll postpone it to next week. I'm supposed to do this. I'll postpone, 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 postpone. Every time you push something to the next day. Every time you postpone something to next month. Every time you think you don't have to do something today because you have tomorrow. That is the height of arrogance. So what is the sense of urgency? sense of urgency is recognizing that you only have now and whatever you're supposed to do do it now that was the first mission statement of the v all right in 1996 when dato and japa established the v all right their their, their mantra was din do it now so to everyone listening today is wednesday Everything you have procrastinated from Tuesday, from Monday, from Saturday and Sunday, do it now. If you have a TAT that you're going to achieve, then do it now. If you have a presentation you're supposed to do, do it now. If you're supposed to message back to your downlines, do it now. You're supposed to call somebody, do it now. And I'm saying this as much as my, to myself, I'm saying it to you. Now look at QNet. QNet has seven days for you to achieve your, your target. So tell me, how much can you procrastinate? All right? How many days can you switch off? Can you take a break for two days? That's how many percent of your week? Because you only have seven day cycle from zero to hit that check that you want to hit. So if you only have seven days to achieve your goal for week 29, week 30, week 31, week 32, how much time can you switch off? How much sleep do you actually need? How much of a social balance, bull sugar life do you actually need? 
So if you have seven days to achieve a target, don't sleep, don't eat, don't shower, don't do anything. Okay, shower, you might lose a prospect, but just do it. Do it now. And somebody, a smart aleck networker moron, somebody on my downline said, but what difference does it make? I got one day to live. I can want to spend it with my family. You're stupid. If I have one day to live, I want to do as many presentations. So I pray to God that he will make me sign up a Atli, a Arun, a David, a Sati. Right? And I leave that for my family and they will max out for the rest of their lives. Are you guys with me? So every minute of a potential prospect signing up, there is a possibility that you're going to sign up a Japa, a Dato Sri Vijay, a V partner, AVP. So this bull sugar that the last day of your life you want to spend with your family is selfishness. The last day of your life you should put your affairs in order. You should make sure your left has strong leaders, your right has strong leaders. You may have to sit down with them and tell them, please don't quit even after I die. Keep building this and leave a legacy for my family. Because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You only have now and your only rule of life is what you can do now, do it now. Keep your promises with a sense of urgency. Pursue your dreams with a sense of urgency, with the clear, crystal clear recognition that all you have is now, all you have is today. Tomorrow is there for the whole world, but it may not be there for you. Are your affairs in order? Is your tracking? You see, I can... Go to bed every night peacefully. And I pray every morning before I sleep. And I tell God, if today is my last night on this planet, thank you for blessing me with everything I have. Because I can drop dead today and I know that my family is taken care of for generations to come because their tracking centers will keep maxing out forever. Are you guys with me? And every day is a gift. Every day you're walking and breathing and able to build this beautiful business is a freaking gift. You did not deserve it. It's a gift. Don't waste it. Don't throw it in the bin. Maximize it. Whether you need four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, my opinion, more than enough. You got the remaining 19 hours Live that 19 hours with a sense of urgency. Live it like a maniac. Make every minute count. Make every second count. Make every meeting count. Make every phone call count. Make every SMS or WhatsApp count. Make every video count. But live your life with a sense of urgency. So today is Wednesday. I don't know whether you're going to be around on Thursday, but if you are, make it the greatest Thursday ever. I don't know whether you're going to be around on Friday, but if you are, make sure you achieve every single potential goal you want to achieve before midnight. That is the secret, the true secret of success. Living life with a sense of urgency. D-I-N. Do it now. Because that's all you and I have. All you and I have is now and when you build your organization when you live your life with a sense of urgency monkey see monkey do it will be contagious and spread into your network and when you have an organization left and right all the leadership living with the same level of sense of urgency i promise you max out will fall from the sky as a gift from the gods are you guys with me so you have seven days to achieve your goals. On that Friday midnight, you start from zero again. And if you are lucky enough, you have another seven days to achieve your goal. And another seven days. And I'm not talking only about achieving that check. I'm talking about everyone new signing up in that seven days where there are diamonds, there are blue diamonds, there are V partners, there are AVPs already there waiting to become a reality. So make the most out of your seven days. Make the most out of today, this very moment, watching this Wednesday message. Don't procrastinate. Don't postpone. Don't waste this life. You only have one. And if the master plan has brought you into this great organization, this great company called QNet, 
with the great leadership of Japadas Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar, our grand uplines, our founders. Don't waste it. This is your greatest opportunity of your life. And the ultimate secret of making it work is live every moment. Do everything with a crazy, unbelievable, fanatical sense of urgency. Love you guys.